Hi there, my name is Ferdy Korpsoek for WordPress King and in this video I will show you how you can do a total reset on your WordPress website but you will still keep the plugins and the WordPress themes. So in order to do that, go to the back end of your website. A little disclaimer, I'm not responsible for anything that could happen to your website. I never had any problems with resetting my website but I just want to say I'm not responsible for that. Uh, what I do, I make a backup. If you want to learn how to do that, follow this tutorial. I make a complete backup of my website. I click over here. Export it. And what I do, I will go to my theme. In my case, it's the Divi theme. I go to theme options. And I click on this icon. I want to export the settings. So I export it. So that's that. Now I go to plugins. I add a new one and I search for reset, press enter. And here it is, reset WP by Nikunj Sony. Install now. Activate it. And now I go to tools, reset WP. And to confirm the reset operation, I have to type reset dash wp so i say reset dash wp reset it will delete all contents and custom changes it will only reset the database it will not modify or delete any files okay then you get this probably or something else uh, that's no problem because if i copy this over here and i paste it over here I am on my website, I can log in, and here's my dashboard as it was. I go to Appearance, Themes, and I activate the Divi theme. And now if I take a look, it looks like this. But if I go to the backend, and I go to Divi, and to this icon over here again, and I import the settings, now I have all my theme settings again. So if I go to the website, it's still looking something like this. I can go to the back end and over here my plugins. They're still here. You just have to activate them. So I'll activate them all. I can do it over here with a bulk action. And it says activate everything. Apply. This one I deactivate again. And that's how it works. Now we have a total reset of our website. We don't have the media anymore, except for those pictures, but they are still on the server. So if I go to plugins, add new, and I say add from server, I install it now, I activate it. Import files. So I go to uploads. And over here, I see all kinds of thumbnails. I don't want to install those. But if I scroll down, I want to import only the real files. So for instance, this one it can take quite a while to find all the right images. But you can also go to your FTP and delete all the small images and then import all the good images. So I will do this. I will say import and you can select the current time or the file time. I'll choose the file time. I say import. Now if I go to media, you see them over here. That's how you do that. It can take a while, but then you've got your images back. If I want to have my website back, I go to import at all in one WP migration. And I can download my old website. I overwrite everything again. I say continue. And if I go to the website, it is totally back again. So that was the tutorial. If you have any question, please leave a comment. Please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Bye bye.